Uh, results tonight in League One, Blackpool 3, Peterborough 1, Rovers 0, Swindon 1, elsewhere Burton 1, Shrewsbury 2, Northampton 1, Oxford 0. Rovers have dropped into the drop zone as a result of losing tonight. Nine matches left. Let's get the thoughts of more Gasset. Matt joins us on the midweek match. Evening to you, Matt. Thanks for your time. What are you thinking? Hi, Jeff. Great to talk to you after a few years. I am um, fuming after that result. And it hurts through the fact that um, not just the way the disallowed goal and the goal went in, but also the fact that Swindon are our second rivals. Yeah, well, that, that, I mean, to be honest, that, that, that comes into it for me. But the, the main thing is it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a defeat, isn't it? And it's a defeat that has dropped Rovers into the bottom four, regardless a, of who it's against. And a defeat against a team who was same point, same in goal difference, which was also bad enough. And the fact that there was a... And Wigan was just below us by goal difference. The first half, I thought... Okay, Rovers haven't been very good attacking, but he still like, nullified the attack of Swindon. But then in the second half, when the goal gets disallowed wrongly, I think, as well as saying oh, 1 0 to the linesman, I think, I know we shouldn't be excusing it all based on that, but. If, it, it, if the goal was allowed, it would have made the defenders, cut, or the team as a whole, not thinking so much of of um, like overthinking things. And I think they would have been mentally be do, doing better at defending. Yeah, yeah. It cha yeah, yeah, I agree totally. It changes the game. And, you know, if you go in front, it gives you the, the confidence. But they've lost. Well, what, what are your thoughts with nine games to play, Matt? Uh, well, oh, it's a big ask, and um, as um, one of the previous callers said, and, um, we've only got we've got most of the, the teams are going to be hard ones. But I, I also want to say that I'm aware that um, Swindon brought on like a very creative player, and um, what was key in commentary was that one goal would be key to how this game went, and with their goal. Somebody should have blocked that shot. And then within the last 10 minutes, whenever we were in, in our own box, we'd either play like Spain in the World Cup, where we would go pass, pass sideways or backwards without any kind of rhythm, or we'd give it to the goalkeeper, and then he kicks it long to straight to and you know, the Swindon players who win the ball back easily. Yeah, well, confidence is low. I mean, Mark, Marcus, Marcus Stewart said it in our commentary, you know, especially with the strikers, confidence and, you know, losing games, it, it, it just saps you, really. And it's where big characters and ex probably experienced players needed to get you through. Matt, good to chat with you, pal. Thanks for your time on this Tuesday. Top man, take care, look after yourself. Charlie is also on the line. What are you thinking, Charlie?